so hey good morning wait let me put this away Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Um, the sun is shining here in Baltimore. It's going to be like 60 today. Um, I'm going to get out, okay? I'm ready to get out and get my walk on. Um, I'm going to take y'all with me. I might get a word. I don't know. Um, we'll see what happens. But... I don't want to do Motivational Monday today. Um, I want to do something shorter. Grand Rising. Grand Rising. Y'all put this on the FYP for me, please. Thank you for the follows. We're going to see what Spirit has for us as a message from the cards that I have pulled out here. Uh, period. Um, the overall energy. We'll also get a message from your angels. I also have the love cards out here. Um, and we'll also see what's coming in at the end, okay? So y'all get us on up there to 10,000 likes. Get us on up there so we can get some more energy in here. So FYP this. Good morning. Good evening. Yeah, it is beautiful outside, and thank you. Um, and my babies are growing. They've been growing all winter long. Usually, um, a few of them give me a hard time in the winter time, but not this time. Um, they were smooth sailing this. <laughs> I even got some upstairs in my bedroom, uh, in the other bedroom. <laughs> I have one over here too. I, I love plants and I'm really good with them. I'm good at making things grow. Okay. But thank y'all for putting this on the FYP. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to get started. Y'all keep working on them likes. Y'all see if y'all can give me to 100,000 likes a day, okay? Because I'd be giving good information. Okay, y'all get me on up there, especially if y'all get on up there, the numbers in here this morning, okay? Make sure y'all tapping and lapping along. So come on into this reading spirit. Sorry. Spirit said, I know you better say it's Monday. I was saved yesterday. I was saved, I saved every day. Okay, two, three, four times a day. Um, I keep it in a few areas of the house. <laughs> okay. So let's sage these cards on out, sage the energies. I hope that you are relaxing this morning or at least trying to be in a positive frame of mind. All right, I know that everybody is not happy when Monday comes around. Uh, it doesn't matter for me. I, I'm usually going seven days a week. So, um, but I do have my time where I relax, and I'm going to do a lot of that today, especially if it really gets up to 60. You're going to see me sitting in the grass somewhere, okay? Um, yes, so let's get started, all right? Show me what I need to see, please, sir. For this collective, for, um, for Monday, what do we need to see for today, Spirit? Show us what we need to see and not what we want to see. We ask that you protect us while we receive all of these messages, and we thank you today, Spirit. Show us what we need to see, please, Spirit. For today, what does this collective need to see? Bottom of the deck is Merlin. 
cosmic knowledge. So some of you guys could be receiving some downloads or something like this here. Maybe you've been receiving something in your dreams. Because it's dark here. The moon is out. We just had a full moon in Virgo on Saturday. So there could have been something going on on Saturday. You could be a Pisces, okay? Or you could have it somewhere in your chart. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for this collective. Wow, one more, please. That was forceful. Show me what else I need to see for this collective, Spirit. Thank you. Bottom of the deck is sensitivity. Definitely could be dealing with a water sign, or there could be someone really in their feelings around you, okay? King Neptune. We got Apollo. Divine messages. That's what I said. You could be receiving messages, downloads in your dreams, or you could be receiving some type of messages from someone. Some new messages. We got face your shadow. Lilith coming out. Ooh, I got the chills. So there could be messages for you to face your shadow. There could also be messages about someone facing their shadow, like someone could be going through a dark night of the soul or something like this here. Behind King Neptune is sacred medicine. So some of you guys could be exploring different ways of healing your body naturally or changing over your food. Some of you guys could teach this as well. Behind that, we got you are a healer. So yeah, some of you guys are healers through different um, vessels, like different types of ways that people can become healed. You could definitely be getting some type of messages to face your shadow, okay? They could be getting some downloads. I definitely have been doing some of that shadow work over the last few weeks. Um, so make sure that you guys, if you are being like really guided to face something, to look at something that you do at this time. It's time for whatever this is. I also feel like you could have a, um, oh, I got the chills. I, uh, I also feel like you could have a, a, a message coming in from a divine masculine. There's a sun behind this man, so it could be a Leo. Okay. Or a fire sign, any fire sign. Show me what else I need to see, please, Spirit, for this collective for this Monday. Could be something about reefs. Someone could make reefs or someone likes reefs or something. Someone has some amazing blue eyes and people tell you it all the time. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for this collective for today. Thank you for the FYP. Hey now, how you doing today? We're rising. How you doing, Nita? Yes, this is a collective. I'm sorry if my uh, moderators aren't in here right now to uh, put that up. Shamu, I need to see the spirit for this collective. For this message for today, what do they need to say? We're just getting whatever message spirit has for us. Okay, there could be something about your third eye opening up. Also, your throat chakra. Yeah, third eye. <laughs> okay, purple. Bottom of the deck is visualization. 28, there's an eye also. So you definitely are getting some type of divine downloads at some point in time. There could also be something visuals that you're seeing. You could be, I just heard I see dead people. Yeah, we got clarity, 25. That's also the throat chakra, okay? With this blue here, that I was just saying this, okay? The number 25 and the number 28. The number 25 is a seven, so there's something that is divinely guided towards you to give you clarity, or there the messages. There's messages that could be coming in towards you to give you clarity on a situation, okay? And there could also be something that you're seeing. You could in your dreams or in the daytime you could be getting vi uh, visions okay don't ignore them bottom of the deck is abundance the number eight so we are in the year of eight there could be something about elephants as well okay and the color red this is your sacral chakra so you could definitely be building up a foundation that is about to bring you in some type of abundance and we got determination behind that. What came out 
is inspiration and rebirth. Nice. So you could be uh, going through some type of a transformation at this time, getting some type of um, downloads when it comes to an inspiration that you're having. You could be being pushed into a certain direction, maybe to be a healer or that you are a healer and you're being asked to uh, decide which path you want to go and you gotta face your shadow. I got the chills. Butterflies could be very significant for you. With this face your shadow here, I feel like it will help you get into alignment uh, with these divine messages that are being brought to you, okay? The number 11 is definitely something that's on your path here with the inspiration. There could be a, you could be a painter as well, I'm hearing. You're an artist. There could be something about murals. There's something about your heart chakra healing as well. Show me what else I need to see. And we'll get into the tarot. But do I have one down? I do. It's in there. Oh, it's right here. We'll use the queer tarot uh, today. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit, for this collection. For today, what is this collective? I hope this is resonating for you all, and I hope that it's bringing clarity to maybe some type of situation that you're going through, and maybe you feel like something is unclear, or you got to face your shadow, or you need to go within. You're going through some type of a transformation, and I feel like it's going to give you in inspiration to move forward on your path with, with something that you are creating, okay? And I also feel like you could have a, a partner coming in towards you. Tell me what else I need to see, please, Spirit, for this collective today. Thank you for sharing the live. Bottom of the deck is magnetism, attraction. The number 37, which is a 10, so you could be closing out some type of cycles here. You could be really into astrology or uh, numerology or uh, going to the planetarium, I heard. There's something about you being very magnetic right now. You could do something on the bed that's very important. And I'm not just talking about sex. <laughs> I'm talking about, like, I don't know. There's something about you gazing out into the universe or something. And it gives you some type of knowledge or something. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for this collective. You could also have a child that does this. We got clarity, mountain. Yeah, there's something trying to give you clarity. So I wrote, the number 16 is a seven. It's divinely guided towards you. So please, um, whoever you are that I'm speaking to, make sure that you are tuning into spirit as often as you can because, and even in your sleep, ask spirit to help you gain some type of clarity um, and to help you to remember what you need to remember in your sleep. Uh, from your dreams when you wake up, okay? Because there could definitely be some type of messages coming through. I definitely feel like there could be a, a divine partner that's on uh, their way to someone, okay? Give me one more, please. That's two. That's three. Bottom of the deck is change, wind. So there could be some changes that you guys are going through. The number 24 is a six, so it's to balance you out. And I know that it may feel like turmoil right now, because uh, this picture looks like a fucking tornado. But I, it's all going to balance out in some type of way. The change is to make you move forward. From, you're going through a rebirth, okay? Um, we got water coming out, creation. What did I say? It's something that is, is a creation. It's meant to be a creation. The number 29 is another 11. So 11, 11, you could be seeing that. You could also be seeing 222 two, two, and 777 seven, seven, and 666. Six, six. 666 six, six, six is about balance, okay? Sevens are, they're about things being on your path, being guided towards you or you being guided towards it. There's definitely something about there being a snake around you. Mm -hmm. 
trying to get into your head. We got desert coming out, solitariness. And that makes sense because their spirit is trying to get you to have clarity. And if you're around a lot of people all the time and you're listening to what other people have to say about a situation, you're not going to get that. So I feel like spirit is telling you that it is time for you to go face your shadow. Be alone for a little while and to your thoughts. Uh, so because I do feel like there's something coming in here with all the sun in the pictures. There's sun. There's something very bright. There's a lot of sun in these pictures, okay? So, and I do, you could definitely be a water sign. You don't have to be. But you could, um, and you could be a fire sign as well. You could definitely needing to be alone to get some type of clarity because there's an inspiration that spirit is trying to help you with, gain clarity on. There's going to be some type of changes that come through this as well. What was this one? We got fire. What did I say? You could be a fire sign. Okay, something is definitely trying to... We got water and fire out here. Wow. So you could be dealing with a, a water or a fire sign, or you could have these in your chart. Okay. The number 29 and the number 8. Again, with the number 8. So you can see 888. There's something about some type of abundance. Something that is lighting, going to light your fire or has lit your fire that you're trying to create here. And Spirit needs you to be clear on the messages that you're getting. So you need to go into some type of solitariness. I can't. That's the message I'm getting, okay? Let's see what comes out of the tarot, okay? I also definitely feel like there's a divine partner. There's a lot of... Oh, I got the chills. Yeah, there's a divine partner coming in. And with the doves around this woman, I feel that there's a sense of freedom, a sense of refreshing, like to reignite some type of fire in you. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit. Thank you so much for um, the gifts, you guys. I appreciate that. There's, some, there's something about purity and there's something about freedom. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit. For this collective. For today. What do they need to see? Ooh, I can't do it. I was going to try to leave the cards down here, y'all, but I just can't do it. I was going to try. Show me what else I need to see. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Cups. And I don't know if I turned it into the reverse or it came out in the reverse. But there could be something about options, okay? Oh. We got the Emperor jumping out first. So you could definitely be dealing with uh, Aries again. Uh, Aries came out, fire. So you could be dealing with an Aries. What else? This could be a boss. This could be you, okay? We got the Seven of Swords. There could definitely be someone trying to come towards you. They have a plan to come towards you. We got the Wheel of Fortune coming out. And the Three of Cups. Somebody wants to reconcile here with change something. Well, we said change, right? The Wheel of Fortune. Somebody wants to, somebody has some type of a plan to come towards someone. To reconcile here, to change something in a connection. Could be an Aries, could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. A Taurus, a Scorpio, a Pisces. What else? We got the King of Swords. This could be a business uh, person who wants to connect with you. What else? It doesn't have to be. It could be someone who's just a boss. We got the Eight of Cups coming out. I feel like you made some type of a decision maybe to walk away from this person before. Two of swords on the bottom of the deck in the reverse. Yeah, you made some type of a decision to walk away from this person. And this person wants to reconcile here with you. I do feel like this could be a business person that may want to work with you on something, celebrate something here with you. 
but there's something changing for you and I feel like you could be celebrating and someone could be watching you celebrate because this seven of swords person is, is looking at the wheel and beyond the wheel is the three of cups so this person is oh okay I guess I'm on on point okay spirit This, sev this person is seeing the wheel turn for you. And they want to come in and celebrate with you. I feel like in the past, you made some type of a sharp decision to walk away from this energy. What else? Bottom of the deck is the king of pentacles in the reverse. This could be a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. They could have Libra in their chart, strong. Or Aries, or they could be dealing with an Aries or something like this here. Somebody is having problems with money, with the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So that's why they're watching this wheel turn for you and wanting to come in towards you uh, to celebrate with you. Okay. Uh, because you made a decision, head over heart decision to walk away from this person. Yeah. Uh, we got the Hierophant coming out here in the reverse. It could be a Taurus, doesn't have to be. We also got Pisces energy. Yeah. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. I feel like this person is non committal. And you walked away from this person because you've got clarity on a situation here. It could also have involved a third party situation with this Three of Cups here. So the, the main energy out here are we got Aries, we got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Pisces, and Aries. What is this emperor doing here? We got the Knight of Wands. So there's someone that wants to be here for a good time, not a long time. Or this could be some type of a business moving forward in a business deal with someone. Confirmation? <laughs> this could be you moving forward in some type of a business deal with someone that is going to help move things forward for you. It's going to make the wheel turn for you. And y'all could be celebrating, coming together to celebrate. What's this one? We got the chariot coming out in the reverse. So maybe this person has decided not to move forward with something. Or there could be some type of a car issue. We could, or there could be an accident. There could be an accident. You could be a Cancer or an Aries, Leo or a Sagittarius. Someone could be... Ooh. Somebody could be drunk driving. Why is the Seven of Swords here? What's the Seven of Swords? I can't, I couldn't ignore that. That's a message. Like, there could be something about an accident and somebody is getting hit by a drunk driver. Why is the Seven of Swords here? We got the Page of Cups in the reverse. Wow, someone is going through some type of karma or something like this here. And I also feel like this person wants to come towards you because they see the wheel turning for you. We got the Page of Cups in the reverse, the Magician in the reverse. It's like something, everything that someone is trying is not working for them. When it comes to a situation with you. But someone sees the wheel turning for you and they want to come in here and celebrate. I feel like somebody is very codependent or they are very immature. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Virgo, an Aries. I kind of feel like somebody also wants to block someone from moving forward. Seven of Cups, yeah, somebody wants to cause some type of confusion or something like this here for someone. Because they're moving forward, the wheel is turning for them or something like this here. Why is this wheel of fortune here? Somebody wants to create some type of illusions for you so you won't move forward. Yeah, the world in the reverse. Like I'm saying, somebody doesn't want a cycle to end with you, but you're the, the wheel is turning for you. You could definitely be dealing with a Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius. Because the wheel came, the world came out um clarifying the wheel of fortune and they have the same energies on it okay 
Why is this three of cups? Two of wands, two of cups in the reverse. There was something about a breakup. This could be, you could be dealing with a Gemini as well. Something about a breakup with this person and they want to reconcile. What is this three of cups? Why is this coming out on Monday? Uh, what is this three of cups? Now this is the type of reading that makes me want to pull out my cards, but I was I'm focused. What is this three of cups? Yeah, this person must have laid some burdens on you. Laid down some burdens with you, but I really feel like laid burdens on you because they got them. Ten of wands in the reverse, nine of swords. This person can't sleep or something at night, thinking about trying to come back towards you. Was a, well, I'm pulling out my motherfucking cards. Um, mm -mm -mm. But in the past, you made a stern decision to walk away from this person. Ace of wands in the reverse. Somebody can't get it up either. We done had this in my cards a few times. Somebody can't get it up, can't get it wet. They can't have sex with other people because it ain't true. I don't know. But somebody going through some shit. Ain't nothing moving for them. Ain't They're not able to manifest anything in here. They could have lost their job. I don't know. Okay. Why is this King of Swords here? Bottom of the deck is the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you decided to let this person go because they was juggling you. Okay? Why is this King of Swords here? We got the Ace of... What I'm telling you, Ace of Pentacles, if somebody wants some money. Somebody wants to come towards you because of money. Justice in the reverse. And someone really feels like it's unfair that you're getting something. That you're receiving something. Could be dealing with a Libra. Or a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Or they could have it in their chart. Someone uh, can't stop thinking about you. They feel like something is unfair. Look. Arms crossed. They feel like something is unfair. What I'm saying Someone's only thinking about their self when it comes to a situation. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why you could have left this person no long as well. Why is this Eight of Cups here? We got the Ten of Cups coming out in the struggle position. But definitely feel like you walked away from them and you didn't go to the Nine of Cups. You jumped straight to the Ten of Cups. And this person is trying to figure out how the fuck are you doing what you're doing or something like this here. This could also have family. You could have also been walking away from a family situation. There could definitely be something about somebody taking some type of money from someone. But like on the down low. I feel like someone wants to come in and offer something here to you. Someone that you walked away from. What is this hyperfond? But this person is non-committal with this hyperfond coming out in the reverse. This could also be you breaking some type of family bond, trauma bond shit. Okay, generational trauma. Why is this hyperfond here in the reverse? Why is this hyperfond? This is what I'm talking about. We got three tens out here. Ten of swords. Somebody definitely wants to change the narrative on something. When it comes to a family situation, when it comes to um, a money situation, when it comes to a household, period. Like, I feel like 10, 10, 10. We got the 10 of swords, the 10 of wands, the 10 of cups. Okay? You definitely closing out cycles, and I feel like a lot of them is karmic cycles. But there is someone definitely keeping an eye on you, seeing you move forward from something. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Gemini strong with the King of Swords here that may want to give you something. Libra as well, because I did see the uh, justice. But I do feel like there is somebody who, I feel like you're leaving behind situations where people were you were always given too much like you're letting go of some type of toxic energy and there's people watching you page of swords energy here ace of cups people feel like you don't you don't have any concern for them right wow like that like there's nothing that they could do to get you to come back this definitely could be family What's the overall energy here or what's the advice, Spirit? What's the overall energy or the advice? 
Bottom of the deck is the Six of Swords. Move forward. We got the star. Heal. Move forward. I definitely feel like there's someone who's coming in to tell you that they're sorry about a situation and to give you something. But I feel like you made a very stern decision to walk away from this person. And I feel like this is just someone seeing you doing well. Two of Swords on, on the bottom of the deck. Um, in the reverse, someone's already made up their decision to do this and to try to heal something here. But you let this person go for a reason in the past, guys. Okay, so just be mindful of that. Uh, don't, don't, don't. And I feel like it's multiple people. I don't feel like it's just one person. That might be also why the Seven of Cups kept coming out or showing its face. Okay, moving on. Let's see what love is bringing in today, okay? I hope you guys are resonating with this, and I hope that it gave you some type of clarity on that situation. We got twin flames coming out in soulmates, dang. And we got the snake and twin flames. So I don't know if you were dealing with a false twin flame or something like this here, but somebody's a snake trying to slither their way back towards you. Show me what I need. I got the chills so bad. Show me what I need to see for the spirit. For this, because daisies could mean something to you. And again, with the butterflies, there's butterflies flying around on my screen here. You could be having a cup of coffee sitting out somewhere, or I don't know. Show me what else I need to see for this collective. For love today. Resonating. Thank you for letting me know that. Show me what else I need to see, please, spirit. Oh, we got addiction. So somebody could be addicted to you, obsessed with you. Or I don't know. But this person definitely could be watching you. Page of Swords, this show's face. We got I like you. Yeah, somebody's uh, obsessed now. Addicted. We got soulmates I'm seeing. And the Phoenix. I told you, you're, you're very attractive at this time, regardless of sex, okay? And someone is seeing you rise from something, okay? They see the wheel turning in your favor. But this is definitely someone who, I don't know, uh, mm, we got healthy choices coming out. Yeah, please make healthy choices, okay? We got paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness. I told you there's some sunshine was in a lot of those other cards that I had pulled out. There's going to be a lot of good times coming towards you as you make these healthy choices, collective. And keep rising, yeah, Grim Reaper. Something is dead, done, and over with. And Spirit said there's no second chances for that. We got girl talk. And acts. Yeah, so you could be talking to your people about how you cut somebody off or how you cut somebody off or uh, how someone trying to come back from the dead. What else? We got the chaser. What I'm saying. What I'm saying. The chaser. Somebody trying to come back from the dead. We also got the dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out things coming to light. Adapt, change, and heal. So you're going to be finding out some type of information. Someone wants to talk to you, but we got stabbed in the back. Whoever this chaser is, the spirit is saying they don't have a second chance. We were just talking about this motherfucker or motherfucker uh, in the tarot. Okay? Spirit's like, this person's about to chase you, but you got a soulmate coming in here, okay? Someone uh, is definitely obsessed with you. We got the runner, so you could definitely be the runner up in here, too. Or the chaser. I don't know. We got passion. And kisses, mm, 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 right by the soulmate and heart with the key. You definitely, oh, I got the chills so bad. <sighs> Somebody coming in with their heart on their sleeve. There's going to be someone that um, you can open your heart to. Okay? But this uh, chaser is about to come around too. What else? Bottom of the deck is coffin. Yeah, this this here with this runner chaser shit, that shit's supposed to be dead. Done over with. Because you somebody's dealing with a karmic twin flame. Okay, now if this ain't your story, it ain't your story. But there's somebody, somebody who wasn't putting in enough and you ended it with, 
this person's about to start chasing you. Don't let this person come back towards you. We got a hammer. Yeah, they want to work on something now. And we got twin flames. What am I saying? And sword in the rose. This person wants to give you some type of clarity on something. Something they want to bring to the light or they want to tell you something or how they feel. Or I don't know. But you got a healthy, healthier choice trying to come in here towards you. So don't fuck around and find out. Okay? Moving on. <laughs> Show us what else we need to see, please, spirit. Good morning. How are you? Show me what else I need to see, please, spirit. For this collective on this Monday. What do they need to see? Bottom of the deck is, are you willing to change your position today? Mental and emotional openness enhances your ability to see people and situations in a new light. On the front of it, it says, whom have you been judging as wrong? So there could be someone that you're judging as wrong, as Spirit saying, you maybe you need to look at something in a different perspective or some shit like this here. Show me what else I need to see, please, Spirit, for this collect. Give me one more. Thank you. Bottom of the deck is, are you willing to feel better? Telling the absolute microscopic truth to everyone about everything is the path to feel great. We got, how do you really feel today? I feel like I've already been expressing that. Okay. How y'all feel about it? We got, who needs to hear some truth from you? And are you willing to tell someone the truth today? When you care about yourself and others, you must respect them enough to tell them the truth. And that's why I feel like this person is about to come in and tell you some truth or something. You're about to get some clarity. Every motherfucking card has led up to that damn tarot. Because I was doing all kinds. Of, somebody's in their feelings. Because this King Neptune is here. And we also had this abundance. There's something coming in here toward you that someone is watching coming in. And they're about to come in here in their feelings. That to tell you the truth about something. Because they want to get back into your energy. Now this could be a person or people. I don't know. We also got, when was the last time you stopped to appreciate yourself? I'm about to do it today, Spirit. I'm about to do it today. Okay? We got, are you willing to let yourself know that you appreciate you today? Self-appreciation is like a balm of healing for the heart. No matter what ails you. Absolutely. Okay. Show yourself some appreciation today, y'all. I don't care if that is buying, buying yourself some flowers. Or if you need to... Men too. Because men deserve flowers too. I don't care if it's buying your favorite chocolate bar. Or taking a beautiful walk in nature. And letting all of the messages just flow in from spirit. Sitting out. Listening to the tweet, leet, leet, okay, of the birds. Show me what else I need to see for this collective today, spirit. Let me see what the angels got to say. Show me what I need to see. If you got to go buy your favorite frozen coffee and sit outside and people watch, go do that. It's a beautiful day. So it was supposed to rain and be warm, but Spirit said not today. We're going we're gonna to give him some sunshine. Show me what I need to see the Spirit. And all the temperatures this week look like they're going up, y'all. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for this collective today. Bottom of the deck, this is from your angels. Sonia, I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy at peace and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. So some of you guys could be in your head about a loved one that's passed on. Purple lavender could be very significant. Their name could be Sonia. 
Show me what else I need to see, please, Spirit, for the collective here. We got Adriana coming out. Isaiah. Akasha. I'm sorry, Astara. Crystal. Bottom of the deck is still Sonia. So you have a loved one that could also be trying to get messages to you in your sleep or in your waking state. Remember, we had that card that said divine messages. You could be trying, there could be a fire sign that has passed on that could be trying to send you messages, or you could be a fire sign that someone is trying to send you messages from the other side. Okay. We got Adriana. Oh, I got the chills when I said that. I was trying to ignore it, but it was hard as I don't know what. Adriana, I am leading you toward the prayer, the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. You better come up in here, spirit. Pay attention to your dreams, your waking state. There is somebody who is trying to get messages to you. Okay. We got Isaiah. Oh, I got the chills. So it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. You could also be pregnant, and there could be a brother that has passed on or a father that is holding you or focused on you while you're pregnant, okay? This woman is pregnant, and there's an angel just protecting her all around her all the time. I got this shit so bad. That's what that I see dead people thing was. I mean, I do, but wow, this is so wow today. We got a star up, so you could be an Aquarius, because that's like star in Spanish, I think. Um, you deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires, and don't compromise. So go for what you want, Spirit is saying. You can have what you want. And there's an angel that's guiding you to a certain spot that's already picked for you. Okay? You're being guided. We got crystal. Have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. There's some... Ooh. These damn chills. There's another... <laughs> There's another sun, and there's a lot of star and sun energy, okay? Lots of healing, lots of um, green, because all of these cards have green, and so you could be getting a lot of money coming in. Um, there could also be, yeah, you could be a water sign with this, because they're aquamarine. We are in Pisces season as well, because these are kind of more like aquamarine. This one is definitely green, though. Uh, like a lime green, not just any green, like an army green even. Okay. This is very powerful, you guys. Let's get one more. And then I'm going to give you guys closing messages, and I'll see if anyone would like a reading from me. If you would like a reading, now is the time to go and um, get on the list. The cash app is available. All the links are in my link tree. What else do I need to see for this collective? for today. We got Shanti. Bottom of the deck is Teresa. Shanti has peach. It's all peach. So there could be something about the color peach or peaches. We got time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. So some of us definitely need to put in some work in self-care. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, do it. Do it now. Do it today. Start now. Um, 
say no, okay, if you have to, to something. Behind that, we got Serena. I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need, and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. Again, with the color lavender, okay? So Shanti says, I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. This is what I'm saying. Like, you are already taken care of. You are guided. You are guided. You are guided. You are guided. And if you don't feel like you are because things could be a little topsy-turvy in your life, keep going. Don't sit in that storm. Don't sit in the storm and not see something bright coming toward you because it is. Don't do the negative self-talk. Don't, don't do it. There's an angel of peace that is making the road easier for you right now. Do you hear me? And the angel of abundance is backing them up, okay? Mm-mm-mm. Show me what I need to see, please. I got the chills. This chills is woo today. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit, for this collection. Mm-mm-mm. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit. Show some more appreciation to yourself. For yourself. We got reflection. This is that facing the shadow also. Friendships in your life may come to an end. Others could blossom and become stronger. So there could be some people that you're going to be needing to let go on this road to peace and abundance. Okay, so there could be some topsy-turvy like with the wind of change came out. What else for this collective? Dang, what else? Bottom of the deck is tough and trying times. And I feel like you've already been through this collective, okay? Tough times ahead, think long term and make decisions accordingly. Avoid negative people at all costs. And I feel like that's what you've been doing and that's why this angel of peace and abundance is coming in towards you. You've been focusing on your path. You've been focusing on what you've been trying to bring in, you got an angel leading you toward the answer to your prayers. And they're communicating with you. They're telling you that it's time for you to give birth to whatever that is that I was talking about in the beginning. This is why I like to keep the cards out. But I can't. <laughs> it's a struggle. <laughs> I hate seeing a whole bunch of cars here, okay? <laughs> Let's see what it is. We got nature. Interact with nature in the outdoors, around animals, farmlands, or by the ocean. This will be good for the soul and healing for you. Then we have communication again with the communication, okay? A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely. So there's someone coming back from the past, definitely. It says a reunion. And someone wants to rekindle some type of... I said that in the tarot. You better watch who you're letting in, okay? But a lucky win seems likely, it says, with something. We got twists and turns. And that's what that damn card looked like, a bunch of damn twists and turns. Carefully made plans could be thrown out the window as major changes and interruptions surround you. Make sure you get lots of rest to cope with all the upheaval. So there's about to be some changes coming in, but they're all leading you to what you've been asking for, your prayers. I am leading you toward the answer to your prayers. That's why I'm saying if twists and turns start happening, tower moments start happening, you cut motherfuckers off, starts happening out of nowhere, understand that it's already been set up. 
you have no control over it. It's already been played, planned. Like, Spirit knew that that was going to happen, and that was going to happen, and this was going to happen, and that was going to happen, and knew what, exactly what road you were going to take. Because it's already been laid out for you. You don't have no control over that. You got protection now, okay? We got friendship. A friend needs your help. Your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. So you have a friend getting ready to also come towards you, maybe for some type of advice or something like this here. And we got intuition, but definitely use your intuition on anything that you're uh, going to be experiencing. We got trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change careers, or invest money. I was already talking about that. We got commitment. A commitment is indicated around love or business. I said that. It will make you feel better. That came out in the tarot, y'all. Okay? We got perseverance. You may feel like you are getting nowhere. what I say? Topsy-turvy things pushing you two steps back and you done did five. And now you got confirmation. And then you, now you got to go back and do... Okay? You may feel like you are getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes ahead. Don't give up. Remember the one angel said, have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see because it's already been planted out for you, okay? It's already been planted. This person is pointing to that exact space of where you're supposed to go and how you're supposed to get there, okay? This angel. We got wisdom. Wisdom. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from an older person, okay, which will allow you to move on. You can book a reading with me now if you are just not sure about a situation or you want more information on a situation. Uh, get your name on the list, okay? And you can also do a personal reading with me. The link is in my bio for all of that. It's all in my link tree, okay? So those are your final messages, Collective. I hope that they rang true for you. And I hope that it gave you some uh, insight to move forward on your path. I feel like we needed this today, y'all. We needed this. I was going to do Motivation on Monday, but you know, that thing is like two and a half hours. And the sister's not feeling that today because the motherfucking son is out. And I'm trying to go out. Okay. Is it different? Different than what? Give me a second here. Let me check it out. Grand Rising. You're very welcome. What in the world is going on here? Um, let me check it out. Let me sh check it out.
it sure is playing it on my damn phone, but it won't let me tap in. Okay, let's see what the cash app is. No, that's me. That's still me. T, Awakened Empress. You can do it with a capital T or a lowercase t. It'll still work. As long as you see that. Does that make sense? To who was ever asking me that? That's weird to hear my voice. Such a glare on the thing today. My square site is on there as well. You can also try the PayPal, but if you would try to do PayPal, it usually says for whatever reason that I'm not accepting um, payments. But I can DM you or uh, email you an invoice while we're on live. Or at any time, if you need to use PayPal, it's best just to go to my, my website, okay? Okay, Tamisha, um, my, I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate that. I will, um, next time please go through my site to schedule a personal reading with me. That's the only way that I'm going to do it next time, okay? If you're in here, um, this is for a personal. Is that you? You're Tamisha? So why you gotta be calling you Francis then? You too now, you're welcome now. Thanks for coming in, Jesse. Oh, okay. So I will text you, um, thank you for the tip because my full readings are on um, special right now. Um, and um, I'll text you and we'll uh, find a time. I gotta look at my schedule, okay? I don't know why you couldn't get through to me on email, Francis. I never got one from either one. I didn't get one from the Awakened Empress, and I didn't get one from Stacey Linnell. So I don't know why you can't get anything to me. Uh, somebody don't want you to get some information. Uh, um, okay. I didn't get it from either one because I would have responded to you because I we've been doing this for like the last two weeks now. I was like, what the fuck? She keeps talking about she's sending me an email and I don't see no fucking email. What is she talking about? And, and <laughs> I don't know. And then I looked at the Stacey Lynn. Well, I'm always looking at an email because I always got people texting me and emailing me. So and when I didn't see it then, I was like, I don't know. I think she keeps forgetting that she, she I don't know. <laughs> So, yes, I will text you and uh, we'll set up a time, okay? I was just as frustrated as you were because I was like, no, I know this. I was looking in the same spam folders and searching. I was looking, I just, mm. I was like, I don't know why, but I don't know where she's sending it to or where it's going or I don't know. But somebody don't want you to get a message that I got for you. Mm-mm-mm. I want to thank you all again 
Y'all got me over a thousand followers or uh, yeah, subscribers on YouTube. And it opened up a lot of different things for me um, to be able to get more content to you guys and uh, be able to create some more income for myself. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, that went so fast. If I tell y'all that that thing was at like 525 for the longest time. And then over the last week, it just went. And it one of the videos went viral the other day. So I thank you guys so much for your support, your participation, for your love. Um, you guys are always sending me nice emails, um, text messages. Uh, for those who have my number, it's a very um, heartwarming and it uh, makes me understand a lot more about myself and you. And I'm going to have some very creative shit coming up for you guys this summer. Thank you so much. Um, and I hope that you guys will enjoy it. I know you will. Um, not just content, but surprises, okay? I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Thank you so much for the gifts. Have a Monday, I will. Thank you so much, you guys. I hope that you guys have a good um, rest of your day. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Again, if you need to get a reading from me that's personal, check out my Square site um, and post there and see where you can get a reading and make sure that you schedule it uh on there and i will email you right away or text you whatever whatever information you leave for me uh, that's how i will respond okay and then then we take it from there um and even when you don't see me on here know that uh you can go on there at any time all right I love y'all. Bye. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. Six nine six nine. You too now. <laughs>